So hey everybody, it's Alex here and I uh, want to talk a little bit today about using a private van. If you're going to be visiting the Playa del Carmen area, be sure to check out this video. All right, so I hope this video finds you well. We recently returned from a trip to Playa del Carmen and the Cancun area and we had a fantastic time. Uh, we stayed at the Hard Rock Hotel, which I'm going to be uh, sharing a more detailed video about our experience. Um, but one of the things that really made the trip fantastic was that we found this private uh, van and uh, driver who spent three, three full days with us. You know, there was a group of 11 of us going down there and we wanted to go to Chichen Itza. We wanted to go to Tulum. We wanted to have a day where we did a uh, excursion and went over to Isla Mujeres and explore Playa del Carmen and so as a group of 11 it can get kind of pricey if you're traveling around in various taxis um, or if you're doing uh, specific uh, tours for example there was a day tour to Chichen Itza which is the um, to go out to the Castillo the pyramid out there and it was a fantastic time but if you do it through a typical tour company you know, you can pay $70, $80 a person. You can be in a shared van with other people and it can get, you know, specifically during like the pandemic with COVID, you might want to have um, fewer people and maybe only be traveling with the party that you've been, you know, your family or the party you're traveling with. So we found a tour guide, fantastic guide. His name is Emiliano. I'll put his information in the uh, description of this video. And he had a 20, 22 passenger van Again, there was 11 of us, but we found ourselves wanting to go out to Chichen Itza one day and Tulum another day and explore. And his price for the day uh, was about 300, a little over $300 um, to basically have access to his van. Um, and he would drive us around. He would uh, you know, be available. He even came with a, another uh, partner that he works with which was nice because it allowed them, uh, one of them to go out and accompany us and then another guy to watch our, our belongings that were in the van or to catch up with us on the other side of town once we had walked from one side to the other. Um, it was really efficient and it was easy to do um, and we, we had a great time. And there was one day, for example, we went to Chichen Itza. And if you're gonna do that, it's a long day. It's a two and a half hour drive out there um, you're going to spend a few hours then you're going to maybe go to a cenote you know it's a long 12 hour day and we actually did about 13 hours that day we wanted to get in as much as we could it really worked out and was a fantastic time and just having the access and having a private van really made a huge difference a little disclosure whenever i do a video like this where i'm showcasing like a tour or an individual or a hotel um, we never receive those services um, at a discounted price or free with Emiliano. We paid his full rate. He didn't even know that I was gonna be making a video about this. What I typically do is we go and we, we, we travel and we do these excursions and tours just like anybody else would. And then if, it's, um, if we have a fantastic time, then I'll make a video and I'll share that information because I want other people to know about it. Um, so we paid the regular rate for three full days and we had a fantastic time so be sure to contact him if you're uh, if you're looking to do a tour or just have access to a private van for example from our hotel hard rock riviera maya to playa del carmen about a 20 minute drive the uh, cost for that was 950 pesos to take um, up to like 12 people i believe in a van so it's basically like $45, $40, to go one way and then return. So when you consider the cost of just a taxi one way, um, it, it really makes sense to give uh, some consideration to a van, especially if you're a little bit larger party. So again, thanks for tuning in and watching this video. Be sure to come back in a few weeks because we're going to be heading to Puerto Varda again uh, for New Year's. If you watched our recent trip, we did a fantastic excursion on the pirate ship there in Puerto Varda. So Puerto Varda is always one of our favorite places. And again, if you have any uh, comments or feedback, make sure you leave, uh, leave a question or a comment below in the, uh, in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts on uh, some recent trips or anything that you've uh, experienced when you've uh, traveled to Mexico. So 
We'll check in with you on the next video and I hope you're having a good day. Thanks.